And welcome back to the four o'clock show. Thanks for seeing with us. You know, every Monday we're featuring the latest information on a different city here in South Mississippi. Today, Mayor Billy Hughes joins us to shed the spotlight on what's going on in the beautiful city of Gulfport. Mayor, good to see you. And thanks. Glad for to be us. with you. You know, you've already announced you're not going to run for re-election, so that kind of makes you a lame duck. I've never <laughs> liked that term personally. So you're on the clock. Is there something uh, you'd like to accomplish between now and when you leave office? Uh, there, next year? Yeah, there's always something on the table that we have to work on, a lot of transportation issues. And with the su success we've had, we've had a lot of growing pains, uh, particularly in the uh, Interstate 10 corridor. We got some money from the legislature uh, last session for a major corridor to kind of link Canal Road and Highway 49 and all that commerce corridor with the sportsplex and the restaurants and the hotels, a lot going on there. You know, but we, where is that project right now? I, I, by the way, like that project. I think it makes sense, but uh, it's been it, a bit it, controversial. Not that one, no, that's the build grant. That's another one uh, that will link, uh, again, the southern port of the interstate across to that same yeah. area. Yeah, well, that's the project. Down that's there. the federal project. Yeah. It's called the build grant. And so that's another one we've been working on. And it is kind of getting gummed up, uh, quite frankly, in uh, with some federal bureaucracy trying to move forward. So we're pushing on that. The Commerce Corridor is state funded, okay. and, but it's gonna serve the same general area. So it'll get things moving, but it's in the engineering phase right now. So that means we know how government works. If it, something's in the engineering phase and it comes to fruition, will I, how old will I be? Um, on that one, you, you probably drive on that one. Okay, good. All right, uh, the Markham Building. I'm ah. going right to the Markham Building because that I think is critical to the whole downtown synergy from the outside. I haven't been inside yet. Have you been inside? No, not in a while. You I, haven't I, been inside? Not lately. Well, They're working sorry on to it. Sounds so surprised. They're working but on it. But the outside looks like it's basically done almost. Yeah, it, it looks great. And it's, we, we realize and believe that the aquarium would be a catalyst for a lot of things. And since then, we've seen the Gulf Blue economy start to emerge with USM and things down on the port with them completing the port. There's a boutique hotel that's close to being finished right around the corner from the city hall and then you've got the Markham and it's uh, it's it's languished for a while but um, the developer has has fixed up the outside there we've got stud walls on the inside so it's a matter of just getting uh, the, the finished work done on the inside. I, I'm hopeful within the next year Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we we see crews there, so they're working on it. Yeah. It's just nothing. I see crews when I drive by, and on the outside, as I say, it looks like it's pretty close. Yeah, nothing ever happens fast enough. Uh, never. Now the uh, pedestrian bridge I thought was a great addition, connecting Jones Park to the aquarium, and that's all part kind of of that uh, vision you talk about downtown. I, I I like the pedestrian tramway. It it serves a lot of a lot of functions, and, and part of it is uh, the experience that people have. We started, when I came into office, started using the term transformational. How are we going to differentiate Gulfport? How are we going to bring you know that tide up for everybody? But for me, it always has started with Gulfport, and that water feature that we have, it's a great asset. The other factor, when we started doing things like um, Harbor Lights, the, mm -hmm. the winter festival uh, at Christmas time, 100,000 plus people crossing 90 every just in a 30 day period of time, not counting the rest of the year. So it's a beautiful design. It's very functional. Uh, it ties in the uh, the aquarium campus with Jones Park. So there's a lot of good reasons to have done it. So I think it's a win for us. Yeah. We're almost out of time. I'm going to go over to West Gulfport because I drive Highway 90 every day. There's a lot of residential uh, construction and development that has occurred. And it, most of it to me looks like it's going to be in the short term uh, rental market. Uh, wh what are your feelings? Is, Gulf is Gulfport going to come up with some kind of ordinance, start charging fees. Where do you think that's going? Uh, right now, you know, we've, got, we've been through that. We spent two years looking at adopting a short-term rental ordinance, and um, most of it is along the beachfront. And uh, we said, let's let the market see where it goes because we haven't had that many problems or issues with it. We're a, we're a tourist town. We're going to have some of that market. And I think, you know, there's a balance. Things tend to work themselves out. And the problem properties are very few. Oh, look at it. We're out of time. We didn't even get to talk about your big show with Fofo Gillich. It's there right there on go. the screen. Oh, so we've already run our time? Well, well tell us about that. So, um, better way to give. Um, we have a, we've had a uh, awareness campaign to curb panhandling, to say do not encourage folks to panhandle. Don't give on the streets. There's a better way. Do it through the Gulf Coast Community Foundation. Do it through your church. But we do have an awareness concert. We have a lot of talent. We're an artistic community. Uh, Ground Zero Blues Club tomorrow night. Um, we're going to have a lot of folks from across the coast, and of course, Fofo and I, uh, we've been playing off it. and on. 
<laughs> We've been playing off and on. I'm not going to say it, but it's a, it's a lot of fun, okay. and uh, we're going to have a special guest come and do a little singing as well. Yeah. Well, don't tell everybody. It's going to be a big surprise. Gulfport Mayor Billy Hughes. All righty, uh, Mayor. Thanks so much for being with us here in the 4 o'clock show, and everybody head on down to Ground Zero Blues Club yep. tomorrow night. Come see us.